Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge and today we are talking about Agile Manifesto and its 12 principles. Let's begin. So what is Agile Manifesto? The Agile Manifesto was written in 2001 by 17 independent-minded software practitioners. While the participants didn't often agree, they did find consensus around four core values. The 12 principles behind the Agile Manifesto. Now based on Agile Manifesto, there are 12 principles or guiding practices that support teams in implementing and executing with agility. These 12 principles guide the Agile teams in delivering the value to the customers, promoting collaboration, embracing the change and continuously improving their processes to meet evolving business needs. Now let's see what are those. The first principle, customer satisfaction through the early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Let me explain. Agile methodologies prioritize delivering working software incrementally and frequently to gather the feedback from the customers in their early development process. For example, instead of waiting until the end of the project to deliver a complete product, Agile teams release the features in smaller iterations to create the value for the customers sooner. Second principle, always welcome changing requirements even there is a late in development. Let me explain. Agile processes are designed to be flexible and responsive to changes in the requirements. By embracing change means teams can adapt quickly to the new information and customer feedback. For example, if a customer requests a new feature late in the development process, then the Agile team can incorporate it without disrupting the project timeline. Third principle. Deliver working software frequently with a preference for shorter timescales. Let me explain. Agile methodologies emphasize you know, short development cycles known as iterations or sprints to deliver small increments of working software regularly. This approach helps manage the risk and ensures that the software meets customer needs. Let's take an example. A team following Scrum might deliver a potentially shippable product increment every two to four weeks. Fourth principle, business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Let me explain. Collaboration between business stakeholders and development teams is essential for successful agile projects. That is, regular communication helps ensure that the software being developed aligns with the business goals and the customer needs. Let's take an example. Business representatives participate in sprint planning meetings to prioritize their work and provide the feedback to the development team. Fifth principle, build the projects around motivated individuals give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. Let me explain. Agile principles emphasize empowering and trusting the team members to make the decisions collaboratively and autonomously. By creating a supportive environment, teams are encouraged to take the ownership of their work and deliver the high quality results. For example, self-organizing the teams in Agile are responsible for planning and executing their work with minimal supervision. Sixth principle, the most efficient and effective method of conveying the information to and within a development team is to have a face-to-face -face conversation. Let me explain. 
While face-to-face communication may not always be possible, agile teams prioritize direct interactions as the most effective way to share the information and resolve the issues quickly. For example, daily stand-up meetings allow the team members to discuss the progress, roadblocks, and priorities in person. Seventh principle. Working software is the primary measure of the progress. Let me explain. Agile methodologies focus on delivering the tangible outcomes such as working software rather than on activities or documentation. Progress is measured based on the software's functionality and quality rather than adherence to a predetermined plan. For example, a working product increment at the end of a sprint demonstrates the tangible progress. Eighth principle. Agile process promotes sustainable development. The sponsors, developers and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Let me explain. The agile teams strive to maintain a sustainable pace of work to prevent the burnout and ensure long-term productivity. By avoiding excessive workloads and preserving a healthy work-life balance, teams can deliver consistently high-quality result. For example, teams estimate work accurately to avoid the overcommitting and set realistic expectations for the project timelines. Ninth principle. Continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances the agility. Let me explain. Agile teams prioritize technical excellence and quality to ensure the software is maintainable, scalable, and adaptable to changes. By focusing on best practices and clean code, teams can respond more effectively to evolving the requirements and reduce the technical debt. For example, Conducting the regular code reviews, refactoring the code, and writing the automated test are common practices to maintain the technical excellence. Tenth principle, simplicity. The art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. Let me explain. The agile methodologies emphasize simplicity and minimizing the unnecessary work to focus on delivering the value to the customers. By prioritizing essential features and avoiding the over-engineering, teams can reduce the complexity and deliver the software more efficiently. For example, agile teams break down the large projects into smaller, manageable tasks to prioritize the high-value work and eliminate the unnecessary features. Eleventh principle, the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. Let me explain. Agile principles encourage self-organizing teams to collaborate and make collective decisions about the architecture, requirements, and the design. By empowering the teams to solve problems creatively and innovate, organizations can adapt to changes more effectively. For example, self-organizing teams in Agile have the autonomy to make the decisions about how to design and implement the features based on their expertise and collective knowledge. Twelfth principle. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective then tunes and adjust its behavior accordingly. Let me explain. The Agile teams practice continuous improvement by reflecting on their processes and identifying the opportunities to enhance their effectiveness. By regularly reviewing and adapting their practices, teams can learn from their experiences, address the challenges, and optimize their performance over time. For example, after each sprint, teams conduct a retrospective meeting to discuss what went well, what could be improved, and agree on the actions 
to enhance their processes in the next iteration. Now let's summarize our learning today on the 12 principles. Customer satisfaction through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Welcome changing requirements even late in the development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Deliver the working software frequently with a preference for shorter time scales. Business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Build the projects around motivated individuals, give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. The most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is to have a face-to-face -face conversation. Working software is the primary measure of the progress. Agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances the agility. Simplicity is essential. The best architectures, requirements and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Always remember, these 12 principles emphasize collaboration, flexibility, responsiveness to the change continuous improvement and focus on delivering the value to the customer. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.